Okay, you guys aren't going to want to miss this. This is extremely important. Um, make sure you share this on Facebook. It's going directly to Facebook, YouTube channel. Very important news. Everybody on YouTube that is um, a gun supporter, guns rights, everything that has to do with the Second Amendment, First Amendment, Constitution, all that is talking about this right now. So, you know, we're also going to talk about it. It's very important. You know, everybody needs to know about this, so we're just going to do our best to get the word out, yeah. just like everyone else. There could be possibly millions of gun owners that are turned into felons over what's going on in the government right now. So, we do have a new guy with us. His name's Bill. He's going to be our info source. You guys aren't going to really see him on camera much, but he's going to read us the information, and we're going to discuss it. And it's very important. We have it all set up here. Uh, this is going to look a lot better from here on out. Yeah, so hopefully the future holds good things. So this is the first issue we have with Polymer 80, and we're going to discuss that right now. He's going to read off what happened. This was actually the video we meant to get out last week, and we never got to it because of technical issues. But that's all right because this looks better anyway. So, all right, Bill. All right, yeah, guys. Uh, I mean, we've had some news all throughout the, this week and a little bit of last week with the, the ATF uh, raids Polymer 80, a company that makes AR and Glock uh, clone lower receivers. Uh, Polymer 80 makes a buy, build, and shoot kit, which contains the 80% lower receiver, the jig to machine, the lowers, the bits, and everything else to assemble into a firearm. The ATF currently believes that any low receiver, which is 80% complete, is a firearm. John Crump, which is the guy who informed everyone about the SB tactical pistol brace situation, and the ATF's determination that pistol braces should be regulated under the NFA, apparently, he got uh, leaked documents from the ATF which basically says, this will only continue to get a lot worse than what it is right now. And then we'll make sure to put the link down in the description of where we got the information. This today. is from Ammo Land. John Crump. What was he? Is he an NRA? Yeah, he's the NRA uh, it's kind of spokesman. Journalist. Journalist. Awesome. He writes on, on Ammo Land and stuff like that. So basically, right now, like he said, there's a kit that comes from Polymer 80, and it's called a buy, build, shoot kit. And you literally you buy it, and it comes with your lower receiver. It comes with the jig and everything you need to make uh, a firearm. And the issue that the ATF has right now is they're basically saying that that's no good. They want that to be regulated, but they're showing up at places where they've been going to houses and doing no-knock Shooting raids. related companies. Yeah. Retail stores. They're, and they're demanding, they're demanding the customer information. So the thing is, right now, this is, I'm not going to give you legal advice or tell you, you know, so anything that we say, don't hold it to be true, like, as far as, like, oh, well, they said that, so that's what I'm going to go out and do. Like, we're just giving our opinions. Now, aren't they so telling you, guys you can't, they're going into these stores and telling you what, they're not telling you what you can sell. Exactly. Right? They can get subpoenas to go <clears throat> pretty much pull up your transaction record. That's why it's really important right now, especially to buy everything with cash because it, there's no paper trail. You know, when you have a, when you buy online with a credit card, all they can do is go oh, yeah. on. They can just track find, everything right there. They can find you where you live and that's what they're doing. They're trying to get your personal information because they don't want you to be able to to buy everything to build a firearm, you know, they're, which is ridiculous. But it's stupid. What you can do is buy a three D printer. Yeah, and we won't say what. We're not to telling do. you what to do. These officers. So, are out so there. if you get busted, don't come suing us because it's not legal advice. We're just throwing this out there, and you're able to do that. You can but, buy a three D printer and all the other stuff, and you can make a gun. Here's the deal. Um, that doesn't mean go do it. Yeah, if if you bought. One of these buy build shoot kits where you have an 80% lower the best thing to do right now seriously call a lawyer just make them aware of the situation okay that make sure they know what's going on and if you ever do have the atf or federal agents show up to your house do not and we cannot emphasize this enough don't say a word to them do not open your mouth be quiet you have the right to remain silent just shut up because you can talk your way into handcuffs you're not going to talk your way out of it. It don't take much. No. You can say one wrong thing and boop. They can use it against you in court. So just shut up and get a hold of a lawyer. If they come, I'm You do have lawyer. the right to an attorney. Yep. So. 
And then just to finish up on what Brendan was saying, now the ATF is saying that 80% frames of receivers require a case-by-case -case analysis that is dependent on the facts, which basically means that the ATF is saying, we can tell you what you can sell, but we can look at what you're selling to see like if, if, saying, if it yeah. has the lower lower the jig and everything needed to actually make a firearm and determine if that is allowed or not, which could mean in the future that a manufacturer may have to sell items individually if the 80% lowers are still legal. At, at the time, and in not in a like a buy, a build, shoot kit, still right now, we don't know what's going to happen uh, as of right now. Yeah, now, wait. The, the receivers are still legal, though, right now. Well, I, I, got, I got a question. How long do you think before they're illegal? Not very long. It's not like within long. the next year or next few months. When Joe Biden gets sworn into office, so within the next it's going to be the ball's going to get rolling pretty quick because so basically the president the of the United States is the head of the executive branch of government, which the ATF is an agency of, just like the FBI, CIA, Homeland Security, all that BS. You know the ATF. The ATF should be a convenience store. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. It shouldn't be a government agency. And like he said, it's probably going to be soon. I would say it's probably going to be pretty soon. Probably the start of the year, I'd say. Yeah. So it's what do, it sounds like. If you do have a receiver right now, I'm not going to say, we're not saying freak out completely because think of how many millions of people have these right now. There's a lot. They can't get everyone. And people aren't just going to give them up willingly. I mean, if they really think that millions of people are just going to surrender a piece of metal. They can't stop everyone. Yeah. That's for sure. They don't have enough. There's just power. not enough. You know, they can investigate all they want, but when they have millions of people. Also, another important thing to note is Polymer 80 is standing up to the ATF. They're not backing down. They're not even complying with them, which is, you know, really good. But that's when the ATF is going to go to court and say, hey, we want court orders to pull all the transaction records for everybody that bought the receivers and that build kits. It just kind of sucks overall, really. So uh, just one other point here just to push you guys on to the next story uh, uh, with the president and the bump stop things. You guys got to talk a little bit about that. We'll just get your opinion on what you guys think about that and that yeah. situation. The thing about it is people don't want to admit it. I know there's a lot of pro-Trumpers out there that don't want to admit this, but Trump let the, bu the bump stock ban happen. Just, just the sad facts. And there's people that are called FUDs, which are basically people that are stuck in the 30s and, you know, they, they don't care about a lot of the attachments and they're just not gun people like they say they are. They think that hunting is just the only thing that has to do with the Second Amendment. And Trump let it happen, unfortunately. And <laughs> right now, this is still technically the Trump administration, and guess what? Now we have 80% receivers are in danger, pistol braces are in danger, all under Donald Trump. And I know that Joe Biden was meeting with the ATF, but still, Trump's in charge. He's in charge of the Department of Justice. He could have stopped that, and he's not. Why? You know, he claims to be pro-gun. He's a, I know he's for red, red flag laws, which are, I won't even get into that right now because they are ridiculous. You can go to prison, possibly even get killed for doing nothing. Police can raid your house with no evidence. So, but yeah, Trump let it happen. That's just the, the facts. I mean, there's no way around it. So put it this way, you give them an inch and they'll, they'll take a mile. It'll only get worse from here on out. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's just, that's just how it's going to be. Especially if Joe Biden definitely for sure gets elected and sworn into office, the next four years are going to be really, really rough for gun owners. Really rough. It's, it's no longer uh, called election day in 2020. Yeah, it's election month. Yeah. Or election. It's about to be months. Months. Election year, put it that way. Um, this has gone on too long. So. All right, guys. That's really all the news we got. It's, you know, we've been sharing it and talking about it the last, what, week and a half or yeah. so. I mean, there's been videos. Since we've heard about it. And as soon videos, as we hear about it, we'll post something or whatever. There's been videos like all week on YouTube being posted about it from different... And we videos. had plans last week to talk about it, but we had some issues. So, it's all good. This is a way better setup than we had. So yeah. It'll work uh, out. One thing you guys need to make sure you do, especially right now if you're on Facebook, is join the Firearms Policy Coalition. And the Gun Hunters of America. Yep, absolutely. That's Those essential. are very important organizations that you need to join. 
Yep, as soon as you can, as soon as you can. I mean, right now, click off this video right now and go join. <coughs> we'll leave the link uh, to both of their websites yep. in the description so you can join. Uh, you can join for like as little as like 15 or $20. Is that a month or a year? Whatever you want. You can donate, actually become a member for like $1,000, but it's like a Patriot level uh, subscription. It's like lifetime, you get like all kind of benefits. You probably get like t-shirts and all this stuff like that. But you know, it's going for a great cause. They sue the government and it gives us a little better peace of mind knowing that there's people out there that care unlike the NRA. So, all right guys, seriously, make sure you do that. And uh, always remember to keep your rifles by your side. And carry on. Don't ever forget that. They'll come loud and they'll come fast. But we shoot first and we can last. Keep your rifle by your side.